Moeni Internet Instagram. Uh, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to Tibet. I uh, just out uh, policing the uh, the area every Thursday. I uh, well, at Thursdays it's trash day, so I was up there. Oh, yeah, you don't know what policing means. I learned the term when I was in the uh, when I was in the Air Force. You know, like uh, they, they you, you know we smoking cigarettes in the you know, little area and then they, when they, every once in a while they tell they tell the troops go out and police the area. What it means? Just look look for trash and you know see everything's in order like like that. I guess I guess the police area is like being like a scout. You see what's going on. You know, if something's wrong, you might report it back. And say hey, you know, it's police in the area and see there's a pipe that's that's busted over there. So and then they call the troops out to fix the pipe or something like that. That's what it means to me. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. Actually, maybe that is what I was talk want to talk to you about. Um, well, it starts there. So I was policing the area this morning. Area meaning, uh, this is a, we're in Lahota House here in the in the Eastern Cape in uh, Timbaza. And uh, Lahota House is a, it's a, it's a small community house that I'm building with my own two hands. I have a little bit of help, you know. And uh, learn more about them later. You know. And uh, well, since we're on, the, that's why I say we in it. Because I think what I'm going to do now, anytime I give a report to the Instagram, I have to talk, because I'll be traveling a little bit, I need to greet in the uh, language of the area, let's put it that way. Like say for instance, I'll be in Cape Town next week. Yeah, that's why I'll be in Cape Town next week. So when I, if I report from there, I'll say, how's it, internet? How's it, Instagram? That kind of thing, see what I'm saying? Anyway, back to the point. So I was policing the area this morning. Uh, cause, cause Ooh, see, come, come back here. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're growing stuff like that, but the field's got to be, you know, whatever. And so every once in a while, because we have wind here, that's why I'm in here now, because we've got a lot of wind. And, you know, you get these little, you know, get little pieces of paper like, like this, whatever have you. This is, this is from Drink Opu, banana flavored powder drink, like that. So you have little, little things like that. What's this one here? This is still a drink of Opu. Uh, a lot of drinking Opu around here. Like, you know, you have a little, you have a little, like, stick for the lollipop or whatever it is like that. And little, little, like they have little, like, Plastic things like that, that peanuts came and stuff like that. But people just, but people just discard it. You know, they don't realize they're in the Eastern Cape, and they're just trashing. You know, the 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 the, the, the land, which is the basically a lot of blood was shed on this land. Uh, so they they trashing the land of the of their ancestors. You know, put trash on that plastics that don't whatever it is. Anyway, uh, so so that's what I do. You know, but in doing that. I sort of see stuff that's going around. You should police your area. Everybody should police the area. We got some. Everybody, should, you should police your area, your block. You know what I mean? This goes going. One time I was in, what was I? Um, I was in Woodstock. I was living in Woodstock, and uh, I was part of this little committee that we would go around at night, you know, looking to see just to police the area. <laughs> you know, please don't be like bang bang. You know, please police the area. Like I said, just check it out. And you'd be surprised the, the amount of people that left their laptops in cars, so the, you know, people just break the window and get the laptops and all this and stuff. Well, a lot of this crime comes from little petty crimes, starts like that. But people are just not conscious, not aware. They just say, draw a rapper on the ground, not knowing that, hey, you know, some, 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 uh, some soldier, you know, had a battle here with the other soldier, and, and you're desecrating their, their battlefield. You know, the, the blood was spilt on here. But I'm going off. You don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm thinking now, uh, in, in this, in, in, in what, what's come because I, I think all the time. This is Lahota House. Lahota Hut House is a thing for thought, speech, speech, and, and action. You think it, or talk it, and action comes. Got that from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. He's like the uh, one of the guy. He's like the patron guider, philosophically the patron guider of this of this of this joint. Like I'm the guidance counselor or the guidance person, but he's the he's where I get a lot of my thoughts from. I get a lot of thoughts from a lot of places. Anyway. So I'm thinking, huh, this is interesting because part of the thing about the house, you, there's, no, there's no drinking, smoking, none of that kind of stuff. There's no alternate states in the house. Let's put it that way. I, mean, I guess if you came all high or you came, or even that, if somebody come here and say, yo, man, you, got some, you ain't got nothing to say. Don't be talking nonsense, you know. Or, um, or, 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 but there's no, none of that kind of altered states, you know. Well, well, that might lead to something else, leads to something else, leads to something else, especially if you're drunk, then, you know, people drunk, they don't make no sense. You know, people are on, on hard drugs, they don't make no sense. But then I'm thinking, especially pick up these little packets, 
I say, well, if somebody, you know, you get these politicians, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, you get these politicians, or whoever, they get preachers, whoever, our parents, I said, oh, it's terrible in our community, we have drugs, you know, there's drugs coming to our community. First of all, you're the police your community because you should you should sort of coming in the first place. But at least let's leave that alone. I don't want to blame you for anything. Oh, I'm going to blame you right now. And so then I'm thinking, well, yeah, you. Well, how did they become a drug addict? You know, I talk. I was talking to this guy the other day with one of the trolley guys. So, you know, every time I go shopping, I check something like that. I always I always hire a trolley guy to take it to the taxi. You know what I mean? Why? Because I want to support their their job efforts. You know, give them some money, right? So I was talking to myself. And, and I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting tired of these people talking about the drugs in the community. I said, well, you can't figure out how they get in the community. I said, like, I asked him, I said, I said, um, did you go, did you have your initiation? I said, okay, your initiation. Did they have Hennessy at your initiation? He said, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. I said, now, how did that happen? I mean, traditionally, what's supposed to be, the women's supposed to make the, the, the traditional beer, and you, you're supposed to drink that. Well, who brought that Hennessy in? Your, 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 your elders, your, 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 your guys, you know, your older guys are supposed to be bringing you through the initiation. So that, that's a drug. They're giving you a drug that's not in the tradition. In fact, that's a drug. I ain't going this point. I'm going to go ahead and that now. That's a drug, drug uh, introduced by the colonizer. So the colonizer gives you just, and you incorporate it into your, initi into your traditional initiation ceremony. You're using the colonizer's drug. Does that make any sense to you? Okay, now I'm going off. That's not what I said to him. I, I can, I'm not saying it to you, right? Make like he's still here, right? Then I said, but that's not that's not what your first drug was. I said that's not that's not the first thing that the colonizer that, that the colonizer introduced it and you and you adopted. You did the agent. You did the work of the colonizer. Come on, let me get close, get close so I can explain to you what's going on here. And I said, you know, when you was two or three years old, little kitty, you know. And you was eh, saying something like that, and 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 you know the, the old part, the the the, the, the you know the the, 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 the well the, the makulu or the or, you know the, the the grandmama or the the older aunt or the mama want to want to keep you quiet. What they do? They keep you a little sweetie. Oh here they do. Oh, oh. So you do realize that you know they tell they tell me you have to research. I uh, I believe this sugar. Is whatever times more addictive than cocaine? So your drug, first drug, really is that sweetie that the love, the person that loves you, gave to you to shut you up from your curiosity, from your want to be uh, paid attention to, which you're supposed to pay attention to, kids, right? So you use, so your first drug pusher, really was your was a loved one. I mean, think about it. Your first drug pusher was a loved one. Your mama, or your grandmama, or your auntie, or your your uh, I, guess, I guess dudes don't really give give, give a sweet. They say, "Oh, right, shut up." <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. So now I've decided. Say, look, another rule of this place: if kids, because we have kids coming here because they have to rehearse, whatever have you, people doing lollipops, you know. Hey, you're not gonna leave that here. If we don't even want you don't you don't do that here. You do that out there, and that trash that that you have that you're gonna throw on the ground. No, you put it in your pocket. You find a receptacle at some particular point later on, point in the day. Maybe when you get home, you find a receptacle. You empty your pockets, and you put it in the proper trash. You don't put it on the ground, just to create the memories of your ancestors that fought for this land, which you don't own anymore. But that's not even getting to that. You see? So, I may. Uh, hey, look, I'm an evolutionary. We, 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 we will continue to evolve, evolve, evolve to make this a better world. I'm an evolutionary universalist. Every place I go, I look and I find, I find things. I say, ooh, what can make this a, a better place for human beings? And then I try to execute. Uh, of course, I'm an audio dramatist. I know how to do it. I can do it through audio drama. Because ain't nobody going to listen to old man walking around in his robe in the, in the morning, you know, put, picking up trash. They ain't going to listen to that, you know, so I understand that. So I just got to get in situations where I can do audio dramas. That's it. I'll talk to you all again sometime. All right? Bye. See you.